Hi, everyone. We're back with the American Dream series, and I cannot wait to share with you our next story. I'd like to welcome Chris. Um, Chris, say hi to the audience. Hi, guys. <laughs> now, Chris, if you don't mind telling everybody where you're from, and I just want to remind everyone that this series is really geared to inspire you as you're making your way to the U.S. And Chris is one of our healthcare professionals that is currently on assignment. And so I can't wait to share his story with you because I know it'll be an inspiration. So Chris, go ahead and tell us a little bit more about yourself. Hi, my name is Chris Bean and I am from Kenya. I am a certified operating room nurse. I work in Oregon. This is what I've been doing for the last uh, nine years now. Or two years now in the U.S. So, in a nutshell, that's uh, that's all about me. Great. Well, yeah. Chris, why did you want to come to the U.S.? It's because I wanted to realize the you know American dream. I wanted to come to the U.S. and work here as an RN and experience life in the, in the U.S. You know, meet the people here develop my, my professional uh, life in the first, first world, you know, yeah. coming from, uh, coming from uh, Eastern Africa. It is a dream that I had uh, from a long time before I knew I was going to become a nurse. So when I eventually became a nurse and I um, heard about uh, this program, one program, I decided to give it a shot. Wonderful. Well, why did you want to apply with Avant? First of all, I learned about Avant on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, having had the dream of coming to the United States and bumping into this post on Facebook, what Avant was kind of coincidental, um, and it also happened that uh, one of my friends we, we used to work with back in Kenya was already on the program. And I asked her about it and uh, she told me how Avant has, has been uh, helping her through the process up where she was at the time. I think at that time, she was getting ready to go for her NCLEX. Mm -hmm. And from the way she explained the personal uh, touch that Avant offered her in terms of holding her hand Throughout the process, I realized that that, that was the best fit for me too because it was a whole new process and experience and I was going to need somebody to walk me through uh, every step of the way. So I, uh, that's exactly why I chose to go with Avant. Great. Well, thanks for sharing that. And I'm so glad that you chose us as your partner through this journey. And we're excited to be part of you realizing your American dream. You know, you, you mentioned it earlier that it's always been your dream. What is that exactly? What is your American dream? So, you know, my American dream before I came to America was pretty much the same as it is now. It was to get all the things that I needed in life that um, I have now and I still look forward to things that I I would, I'm very sure I would not have right now if I was at home, you know, mm -hmm. having the freedom to choose uh, where I want to live, you know, meeting um, new people, having access to um, all these social amenities that I deem important to me, you know, yeah. being able to afford um, what I want when I want. And most importantly, having a better future for my uh, my daughter and my children in the future too. <laughs> yeah. Um, it goes. I mean, it is is something that the future wasn't very promising if I stayed back home. But now it is is I'd say guaranteed that it. A future, a better future for my uh, my family, myself, my kids, even my rest of my family back at home. You know, yeah. 
I've been able to do stuff that I wouldn't have done if I didn't make this decision. So that in a nutshell, that's what makes um, my American dream. Oh, that's great. And I'm, I'm so happy for you and for your family, both here and back home. You are certainly an inspiration, I'm sure, to all of them. Chris, you've been talking about um, all the things that have been happening back home. So what do you think the biggest difference is with your job here versus back home? There are a lot of uh, differences uh, with my, especially with my uh, specialty. Um, the, the first difference that I notice, which is across the board, regardless of practice, is um, cutting. You know, here we do electronic chatting. Mm-hmm. Um, back home, it was all uh, paper. Um, yeah. Though when I left, they had already started introducing a little bit of electronic in terms of uh, ordering, you know, tests, viewing test results. Uh, but that's about it. But over here, everything is is electronic. You know? Yes. Um, yeah, even medication uh, here, we scan them using barcode. That's not back home yet. So. Those are some of the major differences. And then back to the specialty, the OR, there's a lot of uh, new, you know, equipment. Mm-hmm. Um, I, was, I was surprised that we do total knees using navigation system. <laughs> it was a fast for me. And then the fact that I am, as the nurse, I am responsible for doing site prep. That was also different back home. Back home, um, if the, scrub, the scrub person, does the site prep, but most uh, the, the surgeon actually does it, but the scrub person can also do it. Yeah, it's done by the circulator nurse, so that's also another difference that I noticed. Yeah. Then the other one is the empowerment that the nurse has. Here, the nurse is valued as a, as a big member of, of the team. It's not like the subordinate of the doctor or the surgeon. I mean, everybody it's each other with respect and, and value, you know? Yeah. So lots of, uh, lots of differences. Yeah. Uh, there are lots of differences and I don't actually think people appreciate or understand those differences. So I'm so glad that you can share that with us because yeah. it is different in every country and it's really interesting to hear what are some of the things that you noticed from being back home and to hear. So what helped you bridge that gap? between all of those practices from, and all of those differences from charting to medication to responsibilities. Can you share with us what helped you? Absolutely. And I can't, I cannot share that without saying that Avant did a big part in helping me transition. The program, the six week program at the corporate headquarters includes the clinical transition as well. And that part was very important in letting me know what to expect when I got to my assignment location. And just like uh, I, I learned when I was there, I knew about I knew I was going to start doing, like, doing electronic cutting. I knew I was going to find uh, CDs. I knew I was going to find warming devices, uh, things I was hearing about for the first time in, in CTP. And... Yeah, so the clinical transition program basically laid the foundation on, in letting me know what I was going to find uh, in the, I mean, in, when I get to start working. And then when I got to the assignment location, they also had a very good um, orientation program, which again, I, I think Avant played a part in structuring because it is it's supposed to the nurses that are trained here, uh, they, we get or I got 12 weeks of orientation. And the nurses that are trained here get like, you know, I think half of that or so. Mm-hmm. So the staff here are also very helpful in, you know, um, helping me understand how they do these things, how to operate this equipment. And they even went ahead and enrolled me into an, uh, a program with ARN to kind of give me a background uh, knowledge and skills and then at the end of that, I took a test and uh, I passed. And that was also very informative in terms of giving me the knowledge that I needed and the skills uh, that I needed to sharpen based on um, the uh, equipment and processes uh, that are different here 
better than they are at home. So I'm so, so glad. Very instrumental that. things. Yeah. I'm. It's great to know that you have really absorbed everything that you learned during your clinical transitions program and also to know that you are partnered with a client that really wants you to be successful too. So I'm really happy that you're doing well in your facility and that you're adjusting well and that you are prepared to have a successful career. So, and that takes hard work though. It's it's not possible without you giving your 100% and you have done that through the entire program and we appreciate that, Kristen. So so thank you. (laughs) So, you you know, there are a lot of people watching right now that are at various stages of the journey to come to the U.S. to become a U.S. RN. What advice would you give them in their, whatever stage they're in, what advice would you like to give them? First of all, I'd like to tell them that um, they need to be uh, perseverant. They need to they need to be patient. The process of coming here can, can be daunting. You know, uh, waiting times sometimes are very long, and someone can get discouraged. Yeah. But so you need to keep the faith and be patient. Keep doing what they do best, and that they 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 should trust and believe that they have they have a very good partner with them. Pant is gonna them throughout everything and ensure that they achieve their goals. Um, and the other thing I'd like to share is that the mere fact of having been accepted by Avant makes them an exceptional uh, nurse or uh, uh, healthcare professional, so to speak. And that, that alone uh, should get them motivated enough to keep up the good work that they're doing and to stay abreast with uh, the practice, because here it's uh, it's a it's a fast world and things are done by the standards that are set, and those guidelines are strict and they are, they are there to to protect the patient and to protect the staff as well. And coming here is the best thing that would happen in their professional life. So that's what I'd like to share with them. Thank you for sharing that, Chris. We really appreciate it. And for those of you that are watching right now, I hope that you hear what he's saying. It really is important that you're patient through this journey and that you have a good agency that you're partnered with um, throughout that process. And Avant does select, we're looking for the best of the best. And we really want healthcare professionals that we can partner with to help them reach their American dream, just like Chris did. And you were patient throughout this process, Chris. Um, And here you are, you're realizing your dream. And that takes hard work, that takes commitment and dedication. And that also takes a good partner. And Avant wants to be that partner for those of you that if you're not, if you haven't started your journey or you're in the journey, let this be an encouragement to you that through patience, perseverance, and commitment, just as he said, you can realize your dream with the right partner. Um, And Avon Healthcare can be that partner for you. So Chris, can you share with us, now that you're in the US, what are you most thankful for? Oh, wow. Uh, A lot of things I'm thankful for. Um, First of all, I have to be grateful for uh, uh, Avant having been uh, such a partner in getting me and my family over here, uh, having held my hand and having uh, been understanding when I met, you know, challenges along the process that, were, that we did not foresee and they helped me through those to uh, get me here. I'm very grateful for that. Also very uh, grateful for my family, uh, my wife, um, for having been, uh, you know, standing by me throughout this uh, process, prayers uh, from my uh, my mom, my brothers. Um, I went to India to take the test. Um, I know they were all feeling down in prayer <laughs> when I finally passed and shared that with them. They were very happy too, just like I was. Um, and I'm, I'm also very thankful for the. Uh, cultural transition people 
especially mm. Dennis uh, Heck. He wow. uh, traveled with us to uh, Oregon, and um, it was it was very instrumental in getting us settled in here. Mm-hmm. I remember when it got to a time when he had to leave. We it was difficult for both of us because. Um, we had bonded so much on the journey and when we stayed here getting settled in. Um, I'm also grateful for the facility where I work at. Um, the leadership there was very helpful in getting me settled in mm. and getting me as a part of the team. And I, in fact, even up to now, um, nobody believes it when, I'm, when I tell them that I'm a traveler. They don't believe. They, they're like, oh, Chris, you're not. You're permanent staff. And I'm like, well... <laughs> If you say so, I'm very grateful for them too for having made me a part of the team, and you know that has helped me a lot to feel appreciated and comfortable, and that has helped me in my day-to-day you know work. Um, I'd also like to thank the director, former former director at my facility. He was he became a personal you know friend to me, my family, and even my little daughter is very fond of him. You know because he was. He, he got out of the workplace and became a friend as out of the workplace setting too. I'm very grateful for him as well. Uh, having done what he did, even though he's not with us anymore, we're still you know, in touch and we talk from time to time. I would also like to thank him. I don't know if he's going to see this video, but yeah. Well, we are going to make sure he sees it somehow and we'll work together to do that, to send him a yeah. copy of this video. Chris, thank you. Um, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for trusting us and um, believing in really this program and for working so hard to get here. And you, you did it. You're here, you know, and I just, I really want to thank you and your family for trusting us and allowing us to be part of your story and you were an inspiration and I can't wait to hear years down the road more about you because I know that you are somebody and you're a fantastic nurse and I can't wait to hear more about how your journey unfolds and because this is just the beginning that's and, right um that's what's exciting um so What's next for you? What are you looking forward to um, now that you've arrived in the U.S. and have been here a while? <laughs> what are you? What's next, and what do you hope to accomplish? I'd first like to begin with what I'd like to accomplish professionally. Um, I just this is uh, this is the uh, actually it's last week was my was the last week of my BSN program. Uh, another feather on my cup right now. Yes. At the end of it. I, uh, yeah, thanks. That's a big yeah. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that is that is just uh, one of the levels I wanted to accomplish, one of the educational educational goals I wanted to accomplish, and uh, I guess it's now done. So going forward, I look forward, you know, you know, bettering uh, my study even more. Um, so in a f- few months. Uh, so month, I don't know. <laughs> I still want to take a break. I'll go back for my uh, masters, and right. um, yeah, and, and then we'll see what happens after that. And uh, personal life, I'd like to you know meet more old new, new friends, make friends here, and we have uh, traveled a little bit over this summer, and still looking forward to travel a little bit more before the winter comes around. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yes, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we will uh, get to go to you know um, uh, uh, Caribbean at some point. I don't know, maybe God willing. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, once once we're done with Oregon and uh, California, we want to go out of the country and to, I mean to the Caribbean and uh, see you know specifically Jamaica. I wanted to go to Jamaica for a long time, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's one uh, vacation I'd, I'd like to take at some point. Also, look forward to going visiting back home at some point. Uh, we've been away for this is actually the longest we've been away from home so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So we look forward to that as well. And I can also I, I'm also looking forward to you know bringing up my my, my little girl in this system. Mm-hmm. Um, it is 
it is in the new the new environment new cooling system um i hope that she is going to you know grow up uh, into a possible little girl yes that is some of the things i look forward to uh, now that i'm here well that's those are wonderful things to look forward to in your journey here and i'm sure you and your wife are going to raise your beautiful daughter up to be an incredible woman so uh, she's got great examples and I'm excited for you to be able to travel as you said Oregon is beautiful I one day I would hope to go and visit and see yeah. Oregon and Jamaica is pretty awesome I went there for uh, my husband and I went there for our honeymoon and it was yeah. beautiful. I highly recommend it yeah. I'm so glad that you have those opportunities to be able to travel to be able to um, grow in your professional career. Congratulations on finishing your BSN. That's amazing. Thanks. And then on to maybe your master's later on. There's just so many opportunities that you have. And I'm so excited for you and your future. And it is an inspiration to those of you that are hearing Chris's story. It is possible to reach your dreams and your goals. You just need the right partner to do that. And you need Patience, perseverance, and commitment. And yes. Chris is an example of that. So thank you all so much for watching this series. And I hope you were inspired. I was, I've been moved by just hearing Chris's story. And I'm sure that you have been as well. And I can't wait for you to hear more stories. And I'm sure we'll be hearing more about Chris in the future. Um, with all that he's going to accomplish, both with his family and his professional career. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Chris, we are so glad that we got to hear your story. And thank you so much for being on this series and being an inspiration to healthcare professionals all over the world. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>